Hey everyone, one more roll here. So today I have officially completed the challenge. I have landed at Seba in a dark star. Yeah, it is possible, but here is a few little tricks that I did in order to make it even possible. I did this challenge successfully five times, but only three recorded. And on this first attempt, it really didn't count for me because somehow I didn't crash even though I should have. But I was really sad because my best attempt, straight down the middle of the runway, perfect landing. Literally picture perfect. Didn't record. My Xbox just got too hot and it would not record anything for me, unfortunately. So I'm going to show you three successful tips instead. I wanted to make this challenge as legit as possible, so I didn't turn on invincibility or anything for my aircraft. Instead, what I did was change the natural phenomenon called weather. I changed the winds to be a headwind to the runway at about 50 knots, and that really helped me slow down a bunch once I landed on the runway. Landing the Dark Star at Seba with a calm day is literally impossible. Your ground speed is just too high. However, with the winds and with the headwinds, it makes you slow down much faster. Doing this challenge with a strong headwind though comes with its own challenges. Essentially, the stall speed is now increased to 180 knots instead of 130 knots because it increases proportionally to the wind increase. If you guys enjoy crazy aviation challenges, feel free to like, subscribe. I upload daily and I'm sure you guys will enjoy the content. Thank you all.